We're asked, what is the equation of line b? And they tell us that line a has an equation y is equal to 2x plus 11. And they say that line b contains the point 6, negative 7. And they tell us lines a and b are perpendicular. Perpendicular. So that means that slope, slope of b must be negative inverse of slope of a. Slope of a. So what we'll do is we'll figure out the slope of a, then take the negative inverse of it, then we'll know the slope of b, then we can use this point right here to fill in the gaps and figure out b's y-intercept. So what's the slope of a? This is already in slope-intercept form. The slope of a is right there. It's the 2, mx plus b. So the slope here is equal to 2. So the slope of a is 2. What is the slope of b? So what is b's? b's slope going to have to be? Well, it's perpendicular to a, so it's going to be the negative inverse of this. The inverse of 2 is 1 half. The negative inverse of that is negative 1 half. So b's slope is negative 1 half. So we know that b's equation has to be y is equal to its slope m times x plus some y-intercept. We still don't. We still don't know what the y-intercept of b is, but we can use this information to figure it out. We know that y is equal to negative 7. We know that y is equal to negative 7 when x is equal to 6. When x is equal to 6. Negative 1 half times 6 times 6 plus b. All right? I'm just I just know that this is on the point. So this this point must satisfy the equation of line B. So let's work out what B must be. So in this what or what the B, the y intercept. This is the lowercase b, not the line B. So we have negative seven. Negative seven is equal to what's negative one half times six? That's not a b there, that's a six. What's negative one half times six? It's negative three. Is equal to negative three plus our y intercept. Let's add 3 to both sides of this equation. So if we add 3 to both sides, I just want to get rid of this 3 right here. What do we get? The left-hand side, negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. And that's going to be equal to, these guys cancel out, that's equal to b, our y-intercept. So this right here is a negative 4. So the equation of line b is? is y is equal to, its slope is a negative inverse of this character, so negative 1 half, negative 1 half x. And its y-intercept, we just figured out, is negative 4, minus 4. And we are done.